All right, so now we're gonna go through, we're gonna go through 2018 paper for May. And again, you know, say you have seven questions in section one, three in section two, and you have to do everything. Everything we have to do. So let's go ahead and do this easy paper. Again, you have the formula sheet. So anytime you don't remember a formula, always try the formula sheet. Maybe it, it is helpful. All right. It says using a calculator or otherwise, evaluate each of the following, giving your answer to two decimal place. The key statement right here is it said two decimal place. All right. So let's put all of this in a calculator and round off your answer to two decimal place. So 73.18 minus 5.23 times 9.34. Just put everything in the calculator. And you get 24.3318. So the answer is 23.3318. One eight, but remember what the answer said. Say, give your answer to two decimal place. So, in reality, it's approximately equal to 23.33. That's a final answer 23.33. That's the two decimal places. Then, give this to two decimal places as well. Just put it in your calculator 3.1 square divided by 6.17 plus 1.12. When you work it out, you're gonna get 2.6775, 2.6775. But then you want your answer to two decimal place. So this is also approximately equal to, to two decimal place, this seven is greater than five, so it works out to be 2.68. Nice and easy. Now let's look at part B now. Jenny works at Sammy's restaurant and is paid according to the rates in the following. Jenny's weekly wage agreement is she work, her basic wage is $600, plus 0 0.9 for each customer serve. So think of that as like a, a little bonus tip, right? So in a week when Jenny serves N customers, her wage WJ in dollars is given by the formula $600 plus how much people to serve. So you're telling me if Jenny don't serve nobody at all, but just turn up to work, all right? Which is never possible. If she just goes to work, and let's say she don't serve nobody, which mean any zero, she still makes six hundred dollars, which is impossible. Once you're a server, you have to serve. But just looking at it, if she don't serve nobody, she still gets six hundred dollars. So that's a good basic wage to be getting six hundred dollars. Wow. So ignoring that fact now, let's do the question. It says determine Jenny's weekly wage if she served two hundred and thirty customers. So we're gonna substitute. N as 230. So WJ is equal to 600. This has to be in US dollars, 600 plus 0 0.9 times 230. All right, 0 0.9 times 230. This is a good pay if it's US dollars. Very good pay for the week. And what this works out to be is equal to 600 plus 0 0.9 times 230, that is 807, 807.
and seven. So that's eight hundred and seven dollars. That's what you actually make if you serve two hundred and thirty people. It says in a good week, Jenny's wage is one thousand or more. Wow! To make one thousand, that's a lot of money in one week. So let's see how Jenny do it. It says, what is the least number of people or customers that Jenny must serve in order to have a good week? In order to have a good week, her wage must be greater than or equal to a thousand. So the wage formula, as we know it, is 600 plus 0.9N. And in order for her to have a great week, this wage formula must be greater than or equal to 1,000. That's the only way Jenny will have a great week. Is if her wage is greater than $1,000, all right? So we subtract 600 from both sides and we get 0.9N is greater than or equal to 400. And then we divide through by 0 0.9. We're gonna divide both sides by 0 0.9. Divide both sides by 0 0.9. And that will tell us how many people Jenny served for the week in order to make more than $1,000. So N is greater than or equal to 400 over 0 0.9. That is 444.4. .4. 444.4. But in reality, what do we know? In reality, we know that in, in, in reality, you can't serve 444.4. So what we're saying is 445 is the least number of persons she has to serve. 445. And it cannot be 444, all right? Look why it cannot be 444. If it is 444, her money is gonna still be under $1,000. Put in 444 here. You will get 600 plus 0 0.9 times 444, and that's $999. So it has to be 445 in order for her to make more than $1,000. That's the least number of persons she have to serve. All right, easy question, soft, again. All right, it says at the same restaurant, Shana it is paid a weekly wage of 2.7 plus 1.5 for each customer she serves. Now it says if WS is Shana's weekly wage, write a formula for calculating Shana's weekly wage when she serves M customers. So Shana is getting a very little pay and I don't know why, because 270, she probably just starting working at the place. So Shana gets her basic amount of money, her basic 270 plus to each customer she serves M, she get paid $1.5 for that. So 1.5 times M. So this is, the formula representing Shana pay. All right, it says in a certain week, Jenny and Shana receive the same wage for serving the same number of customers. How many customers did they each serve? So in order for Jenny's wage to be equal to Shana wage, then we need Shana wage and Jenny wage to be the same. Shana wage and Jenny wage to be the same. All right. And now Shana wage, as we know, is 270. Shana wage is 270 plus 1.5M. That's Shana's wage. And we know what Jenny's wage is. Jenny's wage is 600 plus 0 0.9M. 600 plus 0 0.9M. That's Shana's wage. This is 1.5 M. All right, so in this case, we're trying to find out when is N going to be. We're trying to find out when N equal M. All right, 
So we're saying that how many customers that they have to serve in order for M to be equal to N. So first things first, instead of saying M in this case, let's just say, I don't like to use, since N is a general formula, all right, same number of customers, I'm gonna use S to represent same number of customers. All right, so I'm gonna write 1.5S and 0.9S, and we're solving for S, all right? And so solving for S, we subtract 270 from both sides first to get 1.5S is equal to 600 minus 270 is 330 plus 0.9s and then we subtract 0.9s from both sides to get 0.6s is equal to 330 and then we divide by 0.6 to get s is equal to 330 divided by 0.6 which is 550 so shana and jenny need to serve 550 people in order to get the same weekly wage all right so when them serve 550 people that's when both of them going to get the same weekly wage all right they have to serve 550 people for so somehow them get this pay the same thing. But generally, Jenny look like she get a bigger pay than Shauna. But the only way Shauna can get bigger pay than Jenny is if Shauna does have serve a whole heap of people. All right, if both of them serve like 50 people, Jenny get more money. Because this base price without serving anybody is a lot of money, 600. So Shauna and Fair Work are ass off to make the money. But, you have to do what you have to do, Shauna. All right, and that's what I want. I want for us to enjoy the mathematics just as so we can picture it in real life and say, whoa, Shauna needs to work real hard to make the money, all right? Just think.